I got into photography through illustration. I wanted to be an illustrator. Um, art was the only thing I was really good at at school. Uh, it was the only thing I was interested in and certainly the only thing I was passionate about. I just immediately fell in love with photography. I love the fact that you could take a picture and then do work with it in the darkroom. So it was adding an illustrative sort of touch to an image. So the time when I set my studio up and, and for the years that followed, uh, photography was very much about crafting an image. You didn't take a picture, you, you make a picture. And for me that absolutely still stands today. Um, particularly in a world where photography is so disposable, there are literally millions of pictures being taken every day. Um, I still try to bring that craft to my work, that's very important. Being an old school photographer, I never ever imagined taking pictures on a, on a phone. All of a sudden there was a spontaneity and a, a different sort of enjoyment. And, th and then it got to the point where I was trying to emulate what I shot on my larger cameras. And with that came a, a slowing down of the process. And that's when everything really fell into place for me. It's made me feel, have a different relationship to the phone really. I mean, it's so easy these days to snap away, to put your picture on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever, and, and it becomes a, a really, almost an insincere process. We're all, we're so used to taking hundreds of pictures, sometimes hundreds a day, and sharing them with people just to get likes. This whole thing of just getting likes. And I guess the refreshing thing was, was trying to use the camera phone in a, in a more, not a more mature way, but in a more photographic way. I was trying to treat it like a real photographic tool.